You know when you're on the web reading an article or something and on the side there's those insane clickbait articles that take up the ad space on like every website? I'm always conflicted about those because on the one hand, they have the most insane titles and images ever and I want to click on them so bad. But on the other hand, I also don't want their advertising to work because I know that whatever is on the other side cannot possibly be as crazy as the title claims. So today, just for you, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I have hired a team of content scouts. Uh, the team consists of one guy. His name is Robert. And he has put together a list of some of the most insane clickbait articles he could find. Clickbait. Very nice slideshow. I like the title. This is great. Okay, first slide. Meet Larry Bird's repulsive wife. God damn, man. What could this article possibly be? Is it just you click on the link and it's just like picture upon picture of this dude's wife? Who is Larry Bird? Who is Larry Bird? Larry Bird is an American former basketball player. I keep reading and it's like known for having the most repulsive wife ever discovered. No, I that can't be. And then there's another slide that says Larry Bird and his partner are still together. Try not to cheat joke when you see Larry Bird's lover. Dude, what the hell? That's so mean. Why are there multiple articles about this? The first one links to a website called Healthy George, apparently. George, I'm just gonna say it. I don't think you are very healthy. I think you have a sick mind for advertising this article on someone else's website. You paid money for people to see this. Okay, let's see. Are there any more about Larry Bird? Oh, okay. So it looks like the content team has included a picture of Larry Bird's wife. So we can see that she's totally normal looking. And they seem to be a very happy couple, too. And why Larry Bird? Why are you picking on this guy? What did he do? I don't know much about him. Is, that, is he a, like a super bad guy or something? Doesn't seem like any reason to come for his wife like that. Okay. It is with great regret that I am going to Google Larry Bird's repulsive wife. Okay, I'm not finding the actual article coming up anywhere. Is this even a real article? There's people talking about the ad on a forum for guitar lessons. There's also a online store where you can buy a shirt with this ad on it. The first thing I thought of when I saw that ad is this is a sick design that needs to be on merch. How can I make this into merch for myself? It could be a picture of me, and it could say, meet Laura's repulsive husband. That would actually kind of, that would go hard, actually. I feel like that would be kind of good merch. Okay, continuing on. So we've established that the first article is complete clickbait, and also not even real. It makes me wonder if I clicked on that ad when it actually popped up, would... What would it take me to? There's no article called that. Were these ads purchased by one of Larry Bird's former lovers? Or some kind of arch nemesis? Lou Ferrigno turned 71. <laughs> oh my Dude, what the hell? Try not to throw up when you see him? Is that what all these ads are gonna be? I I don't think I've ever seen this genre of ad before, actually. Usually the ones I see are like medical things. It's like, you won't believe what happened. You won't believe what the doctors found in her butt or something like that. What is this genre of ad that's just, this is the ugliest person I've ever seen. You gotta check it out. I, I'm paying money for you to see how ugly this person is. Okay, let's see, Robert. Did you include what Lou Ferrigno looks like and am I gonna throw up? Lou Ferrigno looking totally normal at 71. I'll admit he looks great. Try not to throw up. That's a crazy new challenge. I don't think I've ever seen that on YouTube before. You've got try not to laugh, try not to cry. I'm gonna start making YouTube videos called try not to throw up challenge where it's just gonna show pictures of old celebrities. Okay, I'm gonna try to find this article. I swear to God, if this is on another t-shirt. Okay, still not finding the actual article. I'm seeing Lou Ferrigno just showed off his ripped physique at age 70. That's almost the exact opposite of the article. Do you think, do you think that the, the ad actually does link to something like this? And they're actually saying the opposite of what the article is? Because you wouldn't expect Lou Ferrigno, a famously strong fit man to make you want to throw up when you see him. So the clickbait gets you, totally throws off your expectations, and then you click on it and it's like bodybuilding legend Lou Ferrigno shows off ripped abs at 71 years. So, so far we have try not to choke challenge and try not to throw up challenge. <laughs> These are so mean. This study revealed that women are happier with ugly men. These are just making me sad now, dude. Okay, this one might actually be an article. The actual website is Mast Mahul, but I'm seeing this study talked about in legitimate websites, Esquire, Men's Health, iHeartRadio. Uh, let's see if any of them use this really mean image. Image no longer available. What? <laughs> we had to take down the image, man. Guy was too ugly, people kept throwing up. When it comes to looks, most of us are resigned to the fact that the other sex are only looking for and happy with the best looking person available. Not the case, according to a new study. How crazy would it be if the study was like conducted by Lou Ferrigno or something? Actually, women like guys who make them throw up at 71 years old. A new study from Florida State 
State University, which has found relationships are more likely to be successful when the woman is better looking than the man. What is anyone supposed to do with this information? It's not like that's reason to break up with someone. Sorry, I can tell this just isn't gonna work. I, I read an article that says women are only happier with ugly men and I'm so much hotter than you. It's just, <laughs> this could never work. Researchers analyzed 113 married couples in Texas in their late 20s. Evaluators from Southern Methodist University and Florida State University rated couples by their attractiveness. Though why they were trusted as the arbiter of good looks is anyone's guess. Oh my God. I can't tell if that is supposed to be saying like who made them the judge of good looks or if they're actually like coming for the evaluators from Southern Methodist University and Florida State University. But what the fuck would they know about what's attractive? Sorry, it's just, I used to date an evaluator from Southern Methodist University. It ended up really poorly. He broke up with me because he was more attractive. They found that in instances where the man was less attractive, he was likely to compensate with acts of kindness. Kind of uncomfortable with how transactional that sounds, but whatever. They saw a pattern in that this made women happier and feel more appreciative, therefore strengthening the relationship. And once again, they did have to remove an image because uh, it was so mean. Wait, sorry. Bear Grylls? Is this supposed to be an image of Bear Grylls? Hey, the image at the top says Bear Grylls too. Are they using images of Bear Grylls in this article for examples of ugly guys? You guys know who Bear Grylls is, right? The guy from Man vs. Wild? Yeah, so it turns out this is the ideal man for women because he's so ugly. Bear Grylls gets contacted to be like a People Magazine's sexiest man of the year or whatever. He's flattered, he accepts, he sits down for the interview and they're like, so the reason we selected you for this is because you, uh, we found that you are the ugliest man in the universe and women really like that sort of thing okay anyway let's uh let's move on to the next article that's crazy whatever you do do not retire in these 25 states like do anything to avoid it keep working until you die basically if you live in one of these 25 states you can move you got two options you move or you just keep working until you die you move or die you do not want to retire in one of these states lest you end up like him okay great and this article also does not exist i feel like these ads whenever they run they must run for like a week at a time and then they're like, eh, it's not worth it to spend money on this anymore. Go ahead, retire in the state, see if I care. Well, now I'm curious and I just wanna see what the worst states to retire in are. Number one, affordability. Number two, well-being. Okay, these aren't states. Oh, the list is down here. Alaska, New York, California, Washington, and Massachusetts. Whatever I do, I will not retire in Massachusetts. You will never catch me growing old in Washington. I can guarantee that right now. Take a look inside Whoopi Goldberg's repulsive home. All right, well, I'm gonna have to look that up to verify. Oh, okay, no, Robert included it, okay. <laughs> inside Whoopi Goldberg's beautiful house. Yeah, this is lovely. She's got great taste, I have to say. Who is writing these articles? Whoa, okay, wait, so this one actually exists in the form of, looks like multiple YouTube videos. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are here to take you on a virtual tour around the view host Whoopi Goldberg's repulsive home. <laughs> the narration was so pleasant. I thought maybe this was going to be a bait and switch thing where the title sure is mean, but then once you actually get into the video, they're not actually going to make fun of her. He really lured me in with this pleasant sounding narration. Come with me and take a look inside renowned comedian Whoopi Goldberg's disgusting fucking hideous trap house of a home. Try not to throw up or retire when you see this house. Featuring a beautiful colonial style design, apparently Whoopi Goldberg bought this stunning property in 2009. So everything he said so far about it is that it's beautiful. This stunning property with beautiful landscaping and a ton of absolutely gorgeous acreage will make you throw up before you can say Whoopi Goldberg. If you're interested in taking a tour across this property, then you're in luck today. Just show us the house, dude. I want to see the repulsive room. Maybe she does have a repulsive room. It's like, this is the goo room. It uses stinky goo, and the floor is covered in fur, and it's just a nasty repulsive room. We wish she would get rid of it. She even took part in a live stream from her home, and people simply loved the decor. People loved the decor. They said, you know, this is absolutely beautiful for a repulsive home. Hey, right, well, I'm not gonna watch this whole video. It's a beautiful house. Leave Whoopi Goldberg alone, leave Larry Bird's wife alone, leave Lou Ferrigno alone, and most importantly, leave Iowa before you retire. This girl didn't know what's inside her, not until they cut off her pants. Shocking. How could she didn't know? How could she didn't know what was inside her? Until they cut off her pants. I feel like this is just kind of some weird, uh, you know, this is clickbait for creeps kind of, where you see it and they're like, you can cut off her pants, huh? <laughs> 
I don't even care if she could didn't know. I'm gonna, I'm clicking on the video. I'm gonna assume in my mind canon that they cut off her pants and there was a baby. That would make sense with the with the title. How could she didn't know? You didn't know you were pregnant. You didn't know you had you were having a baby. All right, I'll look up the article. Let's see. Oh, there's a whole subreddit for uh, weird ass clickbait, I guess, called "Saved You a Click." Okay, this is the article. I don't know why there's such a large space between the title and the rest of the article. They really don't want you to read the article. They're like, mm, that's the headline and <laughs> that's it. No, stop scrolling. Stop, stop scrolling. Don't read it. It's nice that they have little percentage markers on the side so you know how far you are into the article. By the time I get to the headline, I'm already 40% through with it. By the time I start the article, I'm already 70% done. So I feel like I've done a lot of good reading today. Some parents are too busy working at home or in the office that they sometimes forget to check out what's going on with their kids. If parents fail to provide their kids much of the time that they need, most probably things will end up like a bomb exploding before their very eyes. Is there a bomb inside of her? Take for instance this video of a young Young woman who didn't have a clue if she is pregnant or not. Her father couldn't likewise believe what he discovered after his daughter was rushed to the hospital. He was even baffled with what he saw after the doctors cut off her daughter's pants. He was baffled when they cut off her daughter's pants. Did they, wait, whose pants did they cut off? Apparently this story is real, but it made me wonder how something like this happened without the young woman's knowledge. Actually, this does happen sometimes. People become pregnant without knowing. I will say the weirdest part of this is not that they cut cut off her pants though. That does seem like this becomes like clickbait for weirdos that they had to emphasize that part. But yeah, the craziest part of any medical operation is when they when they take off your clothes. I had to get an appendectomy and they, they, they lifted up my shirt. They saw my belly button. How could I didn't know? I thought I wanted a baby someday, but after watching this, <laughs> Yikes. You click on it, it's just the movie The Omen, where that kid is like evil and kills his family. When you see these, you already have cancer. Oh no! When I see this ad, I have cancer? If you're seeing this, it's because you have cancer. We put in the demographics that we wanted to reach for this ad, people with cancer. So if you're seeing this and you didn't know you had cancer, sorry. Sorry you had to find out this way. These seem to always be like totally made up websites that no, no one's ever heard of. Even the ad platform is called Taboola. It's not like Google ads or anything. They're getting that taboola money. Oh, I've seen this one before. <laughs> the rumor comes out, does Bruno Mars is gay? Bruno Mars. Did he say that? Is this a quote from Bruno Mars? That's what it makes it seem like. Hey guys, uh, the rumor comes out, does Bruno Mars is gay? Bruno Mars is gay is the most discussed in the media in the few years ago. <laughs> Even it has happened in 2012, but some of the public's still curious about what is exactly. And it's on a website called brunomars.us. This is official website? Maybe this is him saying it. New blog post on Bruno Mars official website. Bruno Mars is gay is the most is discussed in the media in the few years ago. I don't remember there ever being a time where Bruno Mars is gay being the most discussed in the media in the few years ago. Even in 2012, I feel like there were more interesting things going on. More pressing issues, honestly. That's the year that the world was supposed to end. The Mayan calendar didn't come true and Bruno Mars didn't come out. That was a disappointing year. People tried their own urine for the first time and they were disgusted. You know, oddly enough, this doesn't make me want to click on the article at all. I feel like they actually gave me everything that I needed to know from this video. And it, it's also exactly what I would expect too. It's not even like subverting my expectations. They tried their urine and it was gross. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Nothing about that seems weird. I'm not gonna click on the video to try to figure out what's going on here. This outrageous truth about green gummy bears will destroy your world. You think you have life figured out and then bam. Okay, now this one is a good ad. What about green gummy bears are gonna make me flip my whole life upside down. You think you have life figured out. You think there's good in the world until you find out that green gummy bears are all running an underground dog fighting ring. Faith in humanity gone. Because faith in gummy bears gone. They're not humans per se. Or at all. I don't know why I said per se. Okay, here's the article. Sorry everyone, your entire life has been a lie. Hear me out. Turns out they're real bears. The rest of them are gummy, but the green ones are real living bears. And you've been eating them this whole time. Imagine you've been hit with a sudden craving for candy. You go to the store, fork over a dollar, or if you live in New York, your life savings for a bag of gummy bears because you're a classy one, you go for the classic Haribo gold gummies, the good kind. As you're eating, you relish in this Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just tell me, just tell me, just tell me. You've been conditioned to associate that toxic waste-like shade of green with green apple or lime, watermelon even, if we're getting fancy. The Haribo's green gummy bears are none of these flavors. 
Is there a real bear? Harry Bo's green gummy is perplexingly strawberry flavor. You guys, I think my world just got destroyed. I can't, I can't, I can't. <gasps> Lou Ferrigno at 71, I could handle, but this is, this is too much. This has officially destroyed my world, Harry Bo. That is even your real name. When she places a mug over an egg, it doesn't get any better than this. This is the life, man. Mug on egg. This is what it's all about. All of the evil and suffering in the world. Guess it all does have purpose after all. Without all that, we couldn't have mug over an egg. And here's the article. When she places a mug over an egg, it doesn't get any better than this. Crack your egg onto a plate, get a small cup or a large egg cup, pop it over the yolk, and then pour the white into your 300 grams of icing sugar. Okay, so if I'm understanding correctly, it's just a trick to get only the egg whites into your recipe. Wow, I feel like in this video, we've really explored the entire spectrum of the human experience, the worst possible and the best possible. We've gone from Whoopi Goldberg's house to mug over egg. Well, I think that's a good place to end, you know, on a high note. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.